guys, it's a proud cat lover, and today I wanted to kind of show you a little update on some things. First of all, I got a new fish tank for my snails. It's a 1.3 gallon tank, and it's called the uh, like floating tank or something. It's Tetra brand because it has this stand. It doesn't really look like it's floating though, so. <laughs> I just got it because it was smaller, and it looked a lot nicer. It's kind of a little cloudy right now because I stuck an algae pellet in for the snails to eat. But it's kind of cool because this little tiny filter here, that is also a Tetra filter, is uh, powered by a bubbler. And obviously I thought that was kind of cool because I've never seen that before. Open one of my hissing cockroaches just hissed at me. But you can see here that the bubbler tube attaches to the end part here where it sucks the water through and bubbles go through and push the water through this. And I thought that was pretty cool. I've never seen that before. So that is fish wise. Oh, and the temperature's over here. So. Okay. Um, and all the snails are doing good. They just are kind of hanging out at the top and everything. They're still exploring the tank. And next I'll show you my jumping spider. So this is my jumping spider's container and it is a party pail ice cream container. See, I'll have to pause it real quick. So here's what the inside looks like. I had some live plants in there. There were a couple of weeds that I collected, a dandelion and a clover, and stuck them in here just in case they didn't make it, um, just to kind of test and see how well they do. You can't really probably see her unless I point her out, but here's my jumping spider right here. What you doing? You can see her walking around right here. So yeah, compared to her size, this is pretty big for her. So um, so far, I think she likes it. She's caught at least three different flies that I fed her in here. So she does hunt. And obviously, I have some branches for her to climb on. Dirt on one side, rocks on the other. Blossom, go on. Now I'll show you the next new thing. So this is Ember's new tank de uh, design. And as you can see, she's got some artificial plants a lot like Blaze does, except hers are a different kind. So that's what her, and she's over there sleeping. Okay, so the next update is that I got a one to five gallon heater for my Dubia roaches. And uh, it's under this corner of the tank right here. And you can kind of see they're hanging out around it down there. And this is the tank that I have my Dubias in. Um, and then I have my crickets in that uh, container back there. The reason this does have a screen front, but it's turned around because my cat likes to use the screen as a scratching post, so I had to turn it around so that he could not scratch on it. The metal top here used to be on Ember's tank, but I had to put it on here because the screen top and blossom, yeah. <laughs> um, another thing is those uh, caterpillars I had posted a video of Oh, actually, no, wait, that was a different caterpillar. I didn't get a, a video post of these ones. So I thought real quick I'd show you what their cocoons look like. Which I don't know if you'll be able to see them. You can kind of see them right here where they've dug in the soil. They ate on geraniums, which was interesting, only the heads. So I'm excited to see what those will look like when they hatch. So I have here... Where my, uh, and pardon the noise in the background, because my mom is watching a video while she's in the bathroom. <laughs> so, anyway, I have my baby mealworms that I've been raising. The beetles here, I don't, I think they're kind of getting to the end of their life, just because they're not as active. But you can see this used to be a really big piece of carrot, and the babies have just been chowing down on it. I mean, if I kind of do this, you can kind of see, like, here's one. It's getting pretty decent size. My camera would stop going blurry on me. There we go. And you can see all these little pieces around the tank. They're all their sheds. So I need to get a new carrot in here because they went and buried it so I couldn't see how much of it was left. I also went and stuck some of the food that I had for the uh, cockroaches and crickets, which is that food mix that I had made up. I mixed it in with their oats to see if they would eat on it, and I think it's really been helping making them a lot healthier. And they've really been growing fast. I mean, look how much they've been shedding, all the little babies. So I think that was a good idea on my part. So anyway, guys, that's kind of some of my little uh, updates. And uh, yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching my video, and have a good day.